If mathematics is the language of the universe, then it is best written down using chalk. Mathematicians love chalk. They love the effortless freedom of writing symbols, erasing them, and rewriting them. But just as how mathematics is more than just functional, more than just useful, it's also beautiful, that beauty is best captured using chalk. <laughs> I really can't take myself seriously with the script. But not all chalks are up to the task. They smudge, they get chalk dust everywhere, they break. But there's one chalk, one chalk that legend says is the best in the world. All right, so we have two packages to unbox today. This is the world's most prestigious chalk. But this, well, I think you all know what this is. This is my 100,000 subscriber silver play button. So uh, let's check it out. This award was inspected by Rick. Why, thank you, Rick. I appreciate that. And then here it is. Okay, that's pretty cool. It says Dr. Trevor Bazit for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh, that's just really cool. You know, I never believed or never even thought, never started out intending that this channel would hit anything remotely like 100,000 subscribers. I was just posting for my own students in an online math class and the YouTube math community is just really amazing. I love how nice you are in your comments, how much you like my videos. It really makes a big difference to me. So thank you everybody who's been watching and I just hope that my videos have been helping you learning in your math journey. Okay, so that's the fun part, but now to the chalk. In this box is Hagoromo Full Touch Chalk. And it uses a custom formula, it uses custom machines at one spot in Japan to make this particular chalk that mathematicians around the world just fell in love with. But there was a crisis in 2015 in the mathematics community because this company went out of business. And mathematicians who loved this chalk so much were sort of freaking out. They were stockpiling the chalk. You'd only get in the rarest instances, like maybe a gift when you got your math PhD. But then a South Korean company picked up those machines and that formula and was reproducing it once again, which is how one of my good friends was able to purchase it on Amazon and ship it to me. So I, I've never even seen this before. I've only heard about it. Like it's some sort of mythical unicorn of chalk. So we get the test. Is it really that good? I'm excited. <laughs> I can't believe I'm excited about chalk, but I'm actually excited. <laughs> And there it is. Is that not the sexiest thing you have ever seen? Okay, uh, dare I even pull one out? Dare I even do this? <sighs> that is a piece of Hagoromo chalk. Oh, it even smells good. I can even tell already that there's just way less dust that's coming off it than any normal chalk. A, a little bit. You can sort of see it here on my fingers. And you can sort of tell, it's, it's hard to see probably over the camera, but there's a little bit of a finish on like three quarters of it, and then no finish on the just last little bit where you'd start writing. And that finish is really nice because it means that your fingers are getting even less dusty. If you, if you touch on this part where there's no finish, yeah, there's a little bit of chalk dust coming off, but on this part, nowhere near as much. I also really like how there's little spits of styrofoam in between each piece of chalk. Like it, it kind of feels like they're not all bunched together. It feels very safe, very unlikely to break. And indeed, I don't see any broken ones, which as I mentioned, would have made me really sad. So I, I guess there's only one thing left to do now, which is to test it out. Now, this is the only chalkboard that I have in my house, but I don't think I can erase my three-year-old's awesome construction truck drawing. So we're gonna have to go somewhere else to be able to test out this chalk. For the first time in over a year, I'm back to where I work, the beautiful University of Victoria. Hey, that's me, T. Bazin. So this is my office. I have not been there for a long time. Hey, there's even math on the board. And I could test out the Hagarama chalk here, but I think it's not quite epic enough. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, it's like buttery smooth. I love that. Okay, look how everything just sort of, just so easily flows from the chalk. I think this is really nice. I mean, it's just so cool. Look at what we can do. 
It doesn't take any effort. It seems particularly nice for just making these long swooping motions and it just sort of comes off the chalk and onto the board. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sounding a little bit, but, but it's really cool. Now, one of the big problems, of course, with chalk is how it erases. So let's check out, oh. <laughs> that was pretty easy. Often with poorer chalk, you just have these big smudges that are left in the board and it's sort of just kind of disgusting everywhere. And it doesn't really come off. You have to sort of erase oh, like this, but uh, that came off the board pretty good. And again, my hands seem to have very little chalk dust, which is one of the big features. I always have just chalk covering everything when I finish something up. Now that was all pretty cool, but the true test of a chalk is whether it can do this. Are you ready? Oh, that's the satisfaction. This is a good chalk. Okay, I've been mostly joking this entire time. Here's my true thoughts. I think this is nice. I think this is better than the standard chalk that you always get. Is it that much better? Is it that much better to deserve the extra cost? Well, I'll leave it up to you, but, but it's pretty fun. I'm glad I have a box and I'm definitely gonna be enjoying teaching my first lecture using this Hagoromo chalk. I think I'm just gonna use it until it's all gone. Maybe I'll have to give away a little bit to my colleagues just so they can test it out as well. But either way, I think it's good. I think it's a pretty solid chunk. I can see why people like it. A little while back, I made a video about one of the most important math topics of all time, and people were kind of frustrated that I didn't actually give the final answer. So here it is, the final answer to the most important problem in mathematics written in the best chalk, six divided by two times two plus one. And the only correct answer to this algebraic expression is, Okay, we don't really need this any longer. Uh, not that prestigious. This is gonna take the high honors spot from now.